I'm Mike O'Dowd, Zach Ferguson, and Angel Cortez, and we're here with USCCA, and we're gonna talk about the 21 foot rule. 21 feet of distance is pretty much accepted universally for the distance you should be when there's a threat in front of you. A uh, threat, maybe it's a knife, somebody standing there with a screwdriver or a hammer. You wanna be about 21 feet or seven yards back from that threat. Even though it feels like quite a bit of distance, show you how close that distance actually becomes once the attacker moves forward. What we wanna do is actually demonstrate that and show you a few different scenarios. If you have something in your hand, your round is chambered or not chambered. All right, so for this demonstration, we have Zach over here. Zach is gonna be the uh, person who's carrying concealed. Over here, we're gonna have Angel. Angel is gonna be the attacker. Uh, Zach, Angel, you guys good to go? All right, so what we're gonna do is while I'm sitting here talking, uh, Angel at some point is gonna surprise Zach. So, so what you saw was Angel run at Zach, and Zach, you know, once again, he's trained for this. He did exactly what he's supposed to do. He draws his gun, but simultaneously, he's circling. He's running around. You saw him circle around to the wall, and what that does is it redirects the straight line running that Angel's doing. Now. If Zach just drew his weapon as fast as that was, he got off about three, four shots on Angel. Unless those shots are right in the face, right in the heart, something that'll stop him immediately, uh, he's still gonna get stabbed. So he can't keep his feet static, he's, he's gotta move. He doesn't run linear back, because you can't run faster than at least somebody coming forward. He's running in a circle, which redirects. Uh, the other thing he did was draw fast, shoot, 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 and kept circling, and then kept moving, kept his gun out, because even though you shoot a few shots at somebody, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're done. The next scenario we're gonna show is uh, the 21 foot rule, but using uh, the cell phone. So it's very common that people have cell phones in their hands when they're walking around. They're texting, they're calling, they're just like filming things. Oftentimes when an event happens, like a guy with a hammer or a knife, you see the footage because somebody's standing there with a camera. And we used to work at different shooting simulators with different scenarios. And across the board, the, the cell phone's out, and when the attacker comes or the threat comes out, 100% of the time, the people who train keep the cell phone in their hand, they draw their gun, and they either keep the phone here or they go one-handed. I've never seen somebody untrained actually toss their phone and go for their gun. And that's what we're gonna show here is what you should be doing is getting rid of the phone. But it's like $1,500 or more for your cell phone, and people don't wanna do that but the muscle memory and whatnot, you'll see that most people will just hold on to it and have a crap draw and they won't be able to take effective shots. So Zach will show it. So what you saw is Zach effectively was able to get rid of that useless tool in his hand, gets his gun out, proper grip, and uh, gets the nice separation with his hand and the gun so Angel doesn't grab it. And that circling technique, he's, uh, he's safer than he'd be if he just stood there. Hey, I'm pausing the video right now to let you know about a free giveaway that USCCA has going on right now. Check out the link below for all the details, and let's get back to the video. The next scenario we're gonna go over is everyone's favorite topic, chambered versus unchambered. Well, there are still a lot of people out there who wanna carry their weapon concealed uh, without a round in the chamber. That's your opinion, and, and, and that's fine. We wanna show the difference of the attack when the round is not chambered. Remember, when it's not chambered, you'll draw, pull out, rack, and then take your shots. It still can be done, but you'll see how much more time that takes. All right, so in that scenario, Zach had to pull out, rack, and uh, it definitely took more time. It's not to say that the attacker wouldn't be shot, it's to say that the attacker might not stop because even if they're taking rounds, their momentum is still carrying them in and if they have something like a knife, they still may get like really lethal stabs going. So Zach circles, um, but it is slower to have your round not chambered. For this scenario, we're gonna show the difference between prepping your draw versus having your hands out and, and unprepped. You'll notice that when Zach preps, what he's doing is he's essentially getting his shirt ready and he may or may not have his hand on his weapon because this is not any kind of brandish. This is having your hand just on your belt line, his hands on the gun, his shirt's ready to come up. You'll see how much uh, quicker it actually is. All 
It's uh, very obvious how much faster that was. Angel took two to three steps. The gun was out. The shots were taken. I would bet that in that, Angel would have dropped before he got anywhere near Zach on it. So it's very clear when there's an imminent threat, prepping all the things you need to do, prepping your shirt, prepping the weapon, uh, is much faster than just coming from hands up here. So there you have it, the 21 foot rule is designed to keep people safe at distance when somebody has a weapon of, of sorts. You can see how fast it can go from bad to worse. If you have something in your hand, if you're not prepped, and also if you don't have that 21 feet. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and uh, check out USCCA for more content. Uh, we'll be posting a lot of videos in the coming weeks. And uh, if you liked what you saw or you didn't like what you saw or you wanna ask any questions, go ahead and put that in the comments section and we'll try to get back to you. And as always, keep training because that's how we move forward and that's how we progress.